In this video we're going to discuss editing page layouts in Plan Plus. So in your Plan Plus account there's there's a couple of page layouts that we're going to discuss. First of all, this view right here when you click on organizations context there's a summary view. So a summary view refers to a view that has multiple contact records on it at a single time and to edit those you'll use the manage views report option. There's a separate video on managing views and reports and creating these views but you can customize the columns and the rows in these views. Now this video we're going to discuss editing the detail page. So when you click on a record you're going to be looking at the detail page. So here we are on the detail of a contact. Now organizations, contacts, and opportunities are all very similar in how they are edited. So for editing a page layout we have the ability to create different page layouts so we can put different fields in these areas. Here's a sample of another contact record that has a different page layout. And here's yet another example. This is an opportunity page layout. This layout is customized as well. This one includes some field groups so you can see the different customization options. Here's yet another one with some customized page layouts and yet another one. So these are a few examples of the page layouts. So to customize your page layouts you go to the account setup and if you want to customize your contact page layout you go to the contacts box and you go to the setup page layout area. Now this little area right here is going to give you a link to editing all of the key areas of the page layout that you can edit. So if I click into the main section here for contact and again you'll notice that there's a section for organizations, there's one for contacts, there's a similar one for opportunities as well in the page layout. So th this functions the same for each of the record types. So for contacts we click this contact link right here and this will show us all of the different page layouts that we can edit. So this area right here is uh, really the center of the page layout editor. There's, there's some shortcuts to get directly to certain sections of the page. So each one of the columns right here corresponds to a certain section of a page layout. So for example, this section right here is known as the main section. There's a possible six custom fields that you can add by default you might only see one of the fields enabled. So you, now there's a few ways to get to those page layouts other than coming to the account setup. I'll show you those as well. So if you're looking at a contact page, and the same would go for one of the other records, if you're looking at there's a layout button right here which will take you to the layout editor. Now if you're on one of your custom tabs down below, you can go directly into the content and layout editor and you can edit the fields that are in the section for that particular tab. So for instance as I go into this layout editor I will be editing the field specifically for that area. So to add fields to a layout you can select from the list of custom fields and you can select one of those fields and then you'll give it a label. So the field will be the, the data value that's going to hold the data and then the label is going to be the label that shows up on the page. So you can actually configure them separately. You can put some color codes in there by putting the HTML, the hex color code in. And the display sequence will help control the order so in case you get a lot of fields on there, you can reorder them without having to manually change every single one of those. Now you'll notice right here that there's an option for uh, setup for company-wide. We definitely recommend that you start with editing your page layouts for company-wide settings. Uh, once you get familiar with page layouts, you can you can try creating customized page layouts for each of the roles. Now, we go back to you see this little link right here. This will help you navigate back to that control area. So, if you've got a customized page layout, meaning that it's something other than the standard, you're going to see an edit link. So, edit means that that page layout has been customized. A plus button means that it has not been customized yet. So, it's good to see edits up here in the company wide. And if you're just getting started, you probably don't want to see edit links down here in these uh, role-specific page layouts. So fields one corresponds to the first custom tab. Main section would be the main section of the page layout. The detail read-only view is a view that you can configure if you click on the read button here for on a detail page view. And the create page would be the page that you get when you go to contact new so you can actually add additional fields to your create page as well. Those are the different 
parts of the page layout that you can configure. You can also configure the search page. Okay, so we've talked about uh, the navigation. We're going to talk about editing the drop-down menus. As we talk about the fields that you can put on the page layout, there's really two types of fields that can be on the page layout. There's the standard fields that come with the application, and then there's custom fields. So with the standard fields, you're really just limited to being able to edit the drop-down menu options for those fields. Now with custom fields, there's numerous options. So the standard field types, you, you can see a list of those. They're on the accounts page. As we go to account setup, the standard field types for each of the records are listed as you open up the box on the account page. So for lead, there's four standard fields and you can edit drop-down menus for each of those. For organization contacts, you see the standard field options here. Now one thing that you'll notice about the standard fields, when you have a standard field on a page layout, you'll typically see an option to manage the values just by clicking on it. So these are real easy to get to those and manage those when you add those to your page layout. So if you just click that, it'll take you to a page where you can edit the drop-down value options for that field. Now in some places in the app you'll see a key and a display value. It's good just to type the same value in the key and the display when you see that. Remember the red, the red asterisk indicates a required column. So in this case you'd have to have a value here and here, but you don't need a value here. So on the account setup page, if you've got a custom field, all of the custom fields are managed over here in the custom field section. So depending on the object type, so for instance, if I wanted to put a field on the organization's page layout, that would be an organization custom field. Same thing for contacts. With the custom fields, there's numerous field types that I can put on the page layout. And we'll create a separate video for each of the field types so you can get some more detail about the various different field types that you can use for your page layout. We'll just highlight a couple of them here. Okay, here's a few different field types that we've got on the page layout here. So a character string is just a field where you can type in a value. A multi-string field lets you select more than one value from a pick list. A file link lets you upload or link a document or file or a link to an external URL. An entity contact field lets you put a link to another contact record. There's also entity organization and entity user fields that you can select from. There's a long text field and there's a number field, number calculated. These let you do some, uh, some math, basically, on the number fields. Uh, a color code field lets you create values and associate a color with those various values. And a date field lets you select a date. Now, on any of these fields, when you update it, after you change the value, you have to click the Update button on the page layout. So those, that's a little bit about the field types. To create those fields, you go to the Account Setup, and in the Custom Field area, Again, if I want to create a custom field for contacts, I'd click on the contact area. I'll see a list of all of my existing custom fields. And depending on the field type, you can have the option to edit a drop-down list. So if you want to create just a basic field that would have drop-down values, that would be the type of character string. And then after you submit the field, you'd click the edit link, and you could add drop-down value options to that. The sequence will let you change the order if you want to change the order. So if I wanted low to be first, medium to be second, high to be third, I could change the sequence and that will change the order that they are displayed in. So really two important things to remember with your page layouts. The first thing, you've got to make sure that the field exists. So whether it's a standard field or whether it's a custom field, you've got to make sure that you have the fields created first of all. By the way, if you see a list of five empty fields, if you fill those up, simply click the submit button and you get five more empty lines. So there's not a limit of just five, but you'll just get five empty lines at a time. So if you click the submit button. Now, if you want to change a field type after you've already created it, you're going to have to just inactivate that field by checking the box over here. That's inactivate is very similar to delete and just create a new field with that new field name. Okay, so let's go back to editing the page layouts. Again, there's there's two ways to navigate to the layout section. Inside each one of our object types, there's a page layout editor link. And you can go directly to one of the sections of the page to edit that you want to edit. Or you can go to this, this control area. It would give you the little matrix that will show you which field you want to go directly to. Another thing to consider is you can just use the Layout button on your page layout. So this is a great way. You can just come right here, hit the Layout button, 
and from right here you can edit and change the fields that are on your page layout. So these are all of the different fields that you have available to put into your page layout. Let's say I wanted to add the field called Team Lead, and if I wanted to add a field called uh, Last Updated Date, I can just add those to the page layout. And again, we recommend that you use company-wide setup for your page layouts in most cases. Um, you can have a two column or a three column mode. If you select that to three columns, it gives you an extra column that you can add to. And disallow user level customization will keep individual users from customizing their own page layouts. So here you can see we've added a couple of different fields to the page layout. A minute ago, we showed you some pretty fancy page layouts where we've got these colored boxes with the fields inside. And this one actually has some calculated values in it. So I'll show you how to use these. These are called field groups. Field groups are a great way to really give a customized look and feel to your page layout. So you'll go into your page layout editor. Shortcut that I like to click is click the layout button and then you can click contact fields. And then down here is where you have your field section groups. So if you want to create a new field section group, so just click create new. So here's a field section group that I'm creating. I just give it a description and a header. You can select the color that you want to choose for your field section group and then add a couple of fields to it and then if I want to add that field section group to my main section I would go into that area and then down in the bottom of the list of my fields I'll see my my field sections that I've created so I can add those to my layout and now I've got a field section added to my layout. Okay, so one last thing that we'll touch on uh, as far as the page layouts goes is the tabs that you can create. So you can configure the tabs across the top here or you can add some custom tabs down here. The, the custom tabs, you can put custom fields on. These tabs up here uh, have a defined purpose. You can choose to show them or not by clicking on this arrow right here and go to configure you can actually change the label that's on those tabs and you can set them up for each of the different roles and you can choose to show or hide the tabs here. That should give you a pretty good summary on how to create customized page layouts. Thank you.